they build with the same size, the same model. You see? Yeah. Some people were choose to live in that house. The people look healthy, happy. The Khmeru also produce magazine like nowadays. But that magazine called Tung Party Watch, you know? And the Khmeru also took magazine or documentary to show many Cambodian people who live in abroad in order to teach them, to persuade them to come back. Because before Khmeru came to power, many Cambodian students, they had gone to study in Europe, particularly in France. Some came, government soldiers had been sent to, tra to be trained in US or in Philippines. So when Cambodia being ruled by the Khmeru, a lot of Cambodian immigrants were there. After seeing documentary, people look healthy, happy, and they look good, and they leave their homeland. They wanted to come back. About 3,000 of Cambodian immigrants, they would need to come back. Shortly after they arrived, they didn't see their relative come to welcome them at the airport. Only some Khmeru soldiers brought them, brought them to be detained, brought them to be killed. Shortly after Khmeru regime collapsed, some people, three percent of all them survived. So some survivors tell us personal story. Mr. Hong Hong Siong, he wrote the book, tell us the story. Let me know the room. She was at Radio VOA, she called us to the radio. Did you hear about that? Yeah. So some of the survivors, they wrote the book. Mr. Ong Hong Siong, he uh, one of the survivors, he wrote the book. And shortly after Khmer Rouge King collect, he went to Phnom Penh, he collected documents at S21, and he encountered many victims over there were his friends who had been ticket from France to come back. So now you can see some of these houses have been left. But actually, shortly after Khmer Rouge King, there were a lot of houses have been left here, 34 or 500 houses. Now some houses relocated by new house. So you can see some, maybe 30 or 40 houses only.